Good day, viewers. You are welcome. How to solve these nice, interesting next third radical equations where we have square root of a inside square root of a inside square root of a equals 3. And to find the value of a that satisfies this, we are going to apply two different methods. So let's see method 1. So for the first method, what we are going to do here is we try to take the square of both sides. As you have this as root a multiplied by root a inside root a, then we take the square of this equals 3 squared. And next we have when this square cancels square root, so at this point we have a root a root a equals 3 squared. Then we have to take another square of this for the second time as we have this as a root a root a raised to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of 2 all raised to the power of 2. So when this a takes squared, so this one also we take squared. I mean root a multiplied by root a raised to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of so for this one these two we multiply two and we get four. So then this square and uh, square root cancelled as we have this as a squared multiplied by so this one remains a. Why this one is root a equals three to the power of four. So looking at this, we have a square multiplied by a and this is root a so we want to get rid of this root again so we have to take another square of both sides so here we have a to the power of 2 multiplied by a root a all raised to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2 so here we have a to the power of 2, we take 2, and here we have a to the power of 4. Multiply by this a, we take 2, and we have a to the power of 2. Multiply by, so the root a, we also take power of 2. And everything equals 3 to the power of, so when 4 multiply 2, we get 8. So here we have a to the power of 4, multiply by a to the power of 2, multiply by, so this can shoot. As we have this as a equals 3 to the power of 8. So for this one, which is a, it is raised to the power of 1. So thereby we apply the rule of exponent, which is product rule, as we are going to add the powers together. So here we have a to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 3 to the power of 8. So here we have a to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1, that gives us 7, equals 3 to the power of 8. And to get the value of a here, since we only need the real solutions, not the complex solution, so what we do here is we have to take the 7th root of both sides. So by doing that, we have 7th root of a to the power 7 equals the 7th root of 3 to the power of 8. So when this cancels, we get the value of a here, which is equals 3 to the power of 8. Then we have the seventh root. Or we can simply write it as 3 raised to the power of 8 divided by 7. And here is the result that satisfies this problem. And again, we have to check method 2 which is also an efficient method. So from the given problem,
So from the given problem, we have this. So we can separate this as the first one, which is A here. We can separate it as root A. Then followed by, so this root inside, it has already covered with this bigger root. Then we write that one as root of root A multiplied by, why the last one, it is covered by two different roots with this making three. Then we write it as root of root of root A equals three. So we should note that for every root, it means the power of 1 over 2. So for the first one, we have it as a to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by, so why this one? We are going to write it as a raised to power 1 divided by 4 multiplied by the last one is a raised to power of 1 divided by 8 equals 3. Then by rule of exponent again, we have a to the power of 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 8, everything equals 3. So when we try to find the LCM here, which is 8, then we do the proper uh, necessary uh, evaluation here. We get a to the power of 7 divided by 8, everything equals 3. Then we have to raise this equation by, we raise this one by 8 divided by 7. So by doing that, we have a equals 3 raised to the power of 8 divided by 7. So we get the same result as the first one. So this is how to solve.